Hello and welcome to this lesson on the famous Christmas carol, Silent Night. We're playing it on this one string diatonically fretted guitar. The string is tuned to C and we're in the key of C major. Shouldn't cause you too many problems this, a very famous tune and it's a waltz, so you're counting in threes, one, two, three, one, two, three. The main problem with this type of instrument is that you have to keep repositioning your left hand if you're playing as a right-handed person because of its linear nature. So the first little pattern is like this. And the notes are G, A, G, E twice. Uh, you've got dotty crotchet, quaver crotchet, so you count it one, two, and three, one, two, three, and that goes twice. You can see above the notes you've got the fingers of the left hand, below the notes you've got the words, uh, the fret numbers, the names of the notes, and the counting. So pretty straightforward, and that first uh, pattern is easy because it's all within four frets. Then you can see a big asterisk at the beginning of the second bar of the second stave, meaning change your overall left hand position. And you're up to D, which is fret nine, minimum the crotchet. And then you have uh, a note of B, which is fret seven. So all is calm. And then the same timing, you have C, C, G, which is fret eight, and then fret four. Then bring your first finger up to a fret five for the note A, two of those, a minimum and a crotchet, and run down for the word virgin, C, B, A, frets eight, seven, five, and then you do mother and child is the same as silent night. And then holy infant, so tender and mild, is the same as round young virgin, mother and child. So that's the same as before. So I'll take that from the second page, first bar. Now sleep in heavenly peace, another big asterisk, so you're moving your positioning up. Now you start on the note D, finger one, it's fret nine, go up to fret 11 for the note F, then bring your third finger back to the note D, because you're gonna go below that then, to the note B. So you've got D, D, F, D, B. Then you've got C, fret eight, and E, uh, fret 10. Finger two, then finger four. Then bring your little finger back to the note C, fret eight. Then first finger on the note G, first finger on the note E, as you run down. And then the last couple of bars, you've got G, F, D, C. Finger four, finger three, finger one, and then obviously no finger needed for the open string. That note is a dotty minim tied to another dotty minim, so it's only played once. I mean, you don't have to stick to the fingering that I've suggested. I've just sort of sat for a while with this and figured out what I think is the best fingering, uh, but you may find other fingering works better for you.